Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is Damien and we are in the Average Joe server on Minecraft. And today I'm going to show you uh, some changes that I've made to my base and discuss some future plans uh, for it. And then in subsequent videos um, this week I will uh, show you some new games that have uh, been added by Kite and uh, just some other stuff that uh, some of the other crafters are doing. That's Sub uh, there, by the way. He's uh, he's in the game. He's I'm going to show you what he's building. It's, it's amazing how big that hole is. Um, but, uh, let's see, it's night time, so let's go ahead and go into creative, because I don't feel like messing with the uh, spawns. Now starting out, uh, you can see I've cleared this out. This is the top floor of the museum. This is a museum now. I covered that in one of my other videos. And uh, I've got the top floor cleared out. I still have storage down there to get cleared out. And I'm probably going to dismantle this and build it over there. Uh, but I'll show you that in just a second. I finally got the sugarcane farm tore down um, I've got to build this one today uh, somewhere over there and then I'm gonna use this by kite he laid this one out for me with uh, with uh, slime blocks and, and uh, stuff instead of all the redstone wiring because my redstone wiring is not the prettiest in the world uh, as you can see it's uh, it's not too awful bad, but this one was actually all over the place because I was trying to figure out how to make it work. I got a lot of repeaters down. Um, you really only need one repeater every 15 redstone, I think it is. But um, I wanted to make sure it worked, so I put repeaters all over it. And then, of course, the redstone wiring snaking up the blocks and all that. And the, the sticky piston the sticky block and piston design is supposed to uh, it's supposed to be better so I'm gonna try to see if I can replicate what he's built here in this new farm over there and then I'll get this torn down uh, I'm gonna build a replica of this this is a automated pumpkin and melon farm and it's not too productive right now because it gets stuck but Kite said something about um, having a hopper clock on it or something like that to keep it from getting stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and just build the replicas over there and tear these down. And then we're working on another design for this because the profit margin is not too good for it. So I'm just going to tear this whole thing down. And once that's done, this entire island will be ready for like a tropical garden or a park or something, whatever I want to put over here that complements the boat. Because now you can stand up there and you can see the boat perfectly fine without all that crap in the way. And over here, I've gotten this one up to three tiers. Um, of course, I fell off a lot, but it works. So I guess that's what counts. And then we built a kelp farm I had to think I went blank we built a kelp farm back here uh, that is basically the same design as the sugarcane farm uh, I emptied it out this morning so it hasn't done it hasn't done a lot it's done that but it uh, it does pretty good overnight it did about six stacks so it's not too awful bad uh, it's a lot better than it was, and it's a lot easier to build that than what I was planning out in front of the boat. Um, down here, I built a slime farm, and it works okay. It's not the greatest in the world, but it works okay. When I'm working up top in the area, uh, it actually gets it actually gets slimes spawning down here. But most of the time, when I'm not in range, uh, it doesn't really do much uh, 
I usually get about two stacks a day out of it. Which, I mean, that's not bad. I don't use a lot. So, that's not too bad. But, um, that was the first farm that I put down here. And I'm thinking of either building up, you know, like leveling this off here uh, with a floor and then building up with more farms or just put a huge storage system in here. I hadn't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. But that's pretty much all the changes that were made over there. And then um, this is all coming down. It's not, uh, I don't like it. It's uh, It was a railroad that was to bring me out to the uh, the animals and stuff. But I'm moving them because maybe you can hear it. When I go into the entrance to my undersea base here, if you stand right here, all you hear is cows. And that's annoying. So I'm going to change that. But I got part of the entrance uh, pretty much done here um, where you can look out. It's all underwater, and uh, which is what I wanted. Uh, Semi-aquatic, which is what I've talked about for three videos. Um <clears throat> so the whole base is going to be underwater, but you'll only there'll only be portions of it where you can actually see underwater. Um, but uh, this is the entrance room, and uh, so far this is all I've got done to it, but I like it. I think it looks pretty good. And then uh, heading down, I've got the stairs and the, and the uh, ceiling basically done, but I haven't finished the walls yet. They're going to be, uh, I'm going to do something with the walls. And then, you know, I've got this part designed, but again, the walls. And I haven't changed these stairs. I've got to change the stairs out, and I've got to change this. I thought I would like the neither wart, but I don't really like how it looks. This is neither wart blocks, and I don't really like how it looks right here. Uh, so I'm going to change all this out. Plus, I wanted to use the aquatic blocks. I wanted to use the prismarine. I wanted to use, like, ice. This is blue ice here. I wanted to use the ice, and then the acacia wood goes really well with it. So um, th that was from Sun Chaser. Uh, Sun Chaser's like, if you're going to do something like that, throw the acacia blocks in there. So that's what we did there. And then this is my this is where the other beacon's going to go, and it shoots straight up, of course, uh, straight up through the ocean, uh, and it looks pretty good. I'll show you up top uh, in a minute. And there was a natural waterfall here so I went ahead and I just made this into a little you know a little wishing pond or whatever and then up top this was already partially flooded so I helped it out and pretty much flooded the whole thing and then it goes even further on up uh, in here like this um, so instead of trying to fill this in or something, I went ahead and just filled it with water uh, so that, you know, I mean, they, I can still get spawns on this, on the, co on the cobblestone, but I usually don't um, for whatever reason. I may have it bright enough in here with the sea lanterns, um, but this also leaves us open where I can come in and I can mine and I can expand out. Uh, which is the the entire idea for this base is to where I can always expand There's always something I can do. There was a lot of lava up here, too um, But there's always something I can do to expand in this base and that was the entire idea for building it um, Whereas the museum over there when I built it there wasn't a lot of room to do anything with But with this having a base down here I can do anything I want to do I can go any direction I want to go um, and clearing it out as you can see I've got a lot of stuff left to get um, but clearing it out I found so much stuff so much ore and all that down here um, you know I can keep going that way I can build bigger and bigger halls and the thing that rolls in my head is the Mines of Moria where, you know, the dwarves delve too deep. And I'm like, well, there's nothing really that would, you know, affect me that way. But, um, 
so far this is this is pretty much what I've gotten done. Now I did finish the enchanting room. Uh, this is my enchanting room. It's got uh, obsidian and uh, the acacia wood, lava coming down behind the iron bars, uh, the the bookcases, all of it. It looks really nice. I like it. Uh, it fits with my personality pretty much. And um, yeah, so that's this is a finished product. This is done. the The enchanting room is done. Uh, I've just got to figure out where I'm going to put my alchemy and. Uh, you know, just what I'm going to do with the rest of this. Because, like I said, I'm going to continue expanding. Um, but, uh, you know, for right now, I've just got to... What am I going to do with what with the place that I have? Um, I was thinking of having all my, my crafting and my furnaces and my blacksmith and my anvils and all that back here um, in this room. Because there's there was so much lava back here. Uh, I made a fucking, pardon my French, fountain here just to get rid of a lot of the, the lava and stuff. And I glass this in so I could work around it until I can get up here and basically get rid of this. This is the source that's, that's putting all that lava down there and I want to get rid of this. Now I may just take half of it and leave half of it where it's at because you know this is where all the crafting is going to take place you know I, it's thematically in my head you know lava would be a necessity for that where you could use it to destroy you know stuff and and smelt and all that good stuff so i, I don't know i'm i'm still it's still up for grabs what i'm going to do with all this but i do know that um i am getting rid of this so if I have to kill half that lake to get rid of this, then that's what I'm going to have to do. Because I need all this water cleared out, and I need all this lava cleared out. Uh, so that I can actually do some construction back here. But I kind of like, um, I kind of like this. I'm probably going to leave this. This, it kind of fits with what's in my head. Um, so I, I'm probably going to leave that and then just design everything else this is going to be a really big place I'm, I'm hoping that uh uh get with kite and try to get a um like an automatic furnace system going automatic smelters <laughs> what 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 did mumbo call it a super smelter something like that going down here because down here i've got plenty of room for it and uh i can of course mine everything i need to make the super smelter but anyway that's the uh that's the base for now i'll show you the uh outside of it um i'll show you the outside of it uh but i mean i'm pretty proud of where it's gone so far and uh it's gonna take a lot of work i gotta i have to go to the neither and get a lot more quartz because i've used up i've used up every ounce of quartz i've had between between this and the museum over there that's a lot of quartz. Uh, this is the site where I'm going to do a lighthouse. I've decided I'm going to do the rounded version. I'm not going to do a squared off version with a building coming out. But from that glass room, you'll be able to see the lighthouse here. And this is where the beacon comes out. And I've kind of designed a glass column for it with, uh, with a glass floor. And uh, there's going to be a lot more design going on around it. But I haven't really figured out exactly what I'm going to do with it yet and I've started clearing this off because I have turtles here and I want to build a turtle sanctuary because um, the turtles that I bred to get my turtle shells are somewhere off in that direction uh, so I, I kind of want to get this and I'm going to make it into basically a turtle sanctuary here and I'm going to start breeding the turtles again and uh you know just see what i can do with that that's uh that's one of the but that's on the far back burner <clears throat> and the last thing i'm going to show you right now let's see my beacon is there i gotta get lined up so we're gonna go this way now sub has found a place that he likes and he has this really huge project and i ain't kidding that he's going to do right here 
in this 1.3 million block hole. It's fantabulous. I'm not even going to lie. I, I've never seen a hole this big created in Minecraft. But, I also haven't played Minecraft for years and years and years either, so, you know. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. I wanted to go over my base. Uh, like I said, in subsequent videos, I'm going to show you some more stuff that's been going on around spawn. Some stuff that Kite's been doing. And, um... You know, just go from there. General information and stuff. But I really wanted to update on my base because it's been a while. And I've done a lot of work here. Um, on the base itself. And I've done a lot of just generalized tweaking to make things look better. Like this was all cobblestone. And I've added the acacia into it to break up. Um... And um, the first test of the die makers. So let me teleport to Kite. And we'll see the first test. And I will let you guys see that in another video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, I will keep you updated. Everybody have a great day.